but it's an important car coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up guys? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. So recently, as you guys know, I have been a little bit injured. Not terrible, but just enough to really stop me in my tracks, take some rest, and that left me with a lot of free time. I decided that I would pick up the guitar that I had when I was in high school from my parents' house and start playing it. Like get an app or look up some YouTube videos and just see if I could bring back what very little skill level I had and um, improve upon that. It's been a while since I've like started a hobby from scratch. Uh, I've been running for a long time and that's kind of been my main hobby for a while. But this whole guitar endeavor kind of made me realize what it feels like to be so new at something and feel a little self-conscious. I had to go into a guitar center and get a couple new strings, and I felt really self-conscious, embarrassed, and intimidated, to be quite honest. And it made me think like, you shouldn't feel that way, and you wouldn't tell somebody who was just running for the first time that they should feel that way. In fact, you'd tell them to go to the store because that's what they're there for. They're there to help beginners. So I got the idea for this video and I figured because the weather's getting nicer, maybe some of you aren't seasoned runners and are starting this for the first time. It's never too late to try something new, never too late to start a hobby, and running is no exception to that rule. So today I'm going for a run with Kate, 50K finisher, also a certified run coach, and we're going to talk about 10 tips that might help you start out on your running journey. These aren't technical tips. It's not buy this shoe, buy this belt, wear these running shorts. Uh, it's just more of a mental approach to running and encouragement to get started. And with that, we'll see you out on the run. All right, little windies. So hopefully you can hear us, but we're on our run and you know, it's not feeling so great for either of us. We both took a couple days off because of various different reasons. And it feels hard, so that just goes to show you that at any skill level, our run can feel hard on any given day. Tips for beginner runners. Here we go. Number one, set a goal, big or small. I feel like it's really important to make sure the goal is attainable. For sure. You set yourself up for even little steps of success. Yes. Minutes. Counts to 5K. Counts to one mile. Counts to two minutes. Anything. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. It can be any kind of goal. For us, when we started out, we had signed up for a 5K relay. Well, it was a triathlon sprint, and part of it was a 5K run. And we trained for that and trust me, we weren't doing five, uh, three miles out of the gate. No. We were doing one mile, maybe half miles. Maybe. Yeah. So just set a goal and try to accomplish that over a certain period of time. Sounds scary, but it really isn't too bad once you get started. Tip number two, ease into it. Don't go out of the gate running, trying to run a seven minute mile and a 5K right away. Go slow and go baby steps. It's just gonna be beneficial for you throughout your run. Right. And again, kind of going back to number one, like you don't need to get out on your first day and try to run a 5K. If you're not up to that, like be honest with yourself and at your exactly. skill level, cause there's nothing wrong with that. Number three. Ooh, can you hear us? Okay. Number three is B patient and all one two and three are kind of like related but again just because you can't do a 5k on your first day you know a mile on your first day a half a mile on your first day doesn't mean that you won't be able to do that forever you can't give up running is like every other kind of hobby or sport you need to put in the time oh hang on here <laughs> Oh, Jarrell Bob, yes. <laughs> okay. 
you need to put in the time, put in the practice, and it will all come together. Tip number four. Okay. What is it, Kate? Do not. I'll say it louder for the people in the back. Say it loud. Do not <laughs> compare yourself to others. That's right. Do not do it. It steals the joy and everything out of what you're doing. Exactly. All right? I mean, looking at people's Stravas, looking at people's Instagrams, believe me, it could be a great place. Very supportive running community. No one's gonna support you more than a stranger on the internet. It's true. However, don't play the comparison game. Everybody's different. It took me years, I'm guilty. It took me years to not compare myself to Emily. I can never catch her. <laughs> and that's fine. I stay in my lane. And I'm happy, it's liberating. <laughs> stay in your lane. Do you. And don't worry about everybody else. That's what I got to say about I you. think that's pretty well said. I don't have much else to say. Tip number five. My favorite tip on, well maybe my second favorite tip, but one of my favorite tips on the list is take rest days and as you can see we're stopped take rest breaks walk what walk. walk if you have to maybe i'll walk down there i don't know yeah, who knows run. we don't know you know it's minute to minute and just because you take a break during your run i cannot stress enough how much that does not matter and how you should not be ashamed of that it took me so long to be comfortable taking a break and not feel like you know I was failing or not doing what I should have been doing but screw that yeah. you can literally take as many rest breaks as you want and you should if you need to regulate yourself then do it and then as far as like taking rest days go if you don't feel right if your body's not feeling right you need to listen to your body it is the most important thing that you could possibly do while running I think Definitely. Um, and also yeah. if your body feels great take a rest day yeah, exactly because you need you need to yeah so in order to improve you have to rest. You can't run every single day. I mean, maybe somebody can, but I certainly can't. I, I don't, can't either. I don't think like everybody can. And on that note, I guess we should start running, huh? <laughs> Tip number six. six. Go ahead, Kate, take it away. Fuel your bod. Yup. I mean, you gotta eat. <laughs> you gotta Stop. drink or you're gonna die. <laughs> you have to do it. That's a good way to put it. Your body, your bones and muscles are going to break down yeah. if you underfuel. Then you're going to get injured. Right. And then running is not fun. Right. So make it fun. Just eat. Exactly. Eat the burger. Eat the burger. Drink the beer. Drink the beer. And the water. And the, yeah, definitely water. Number seven is if you're a beginner, get fitted for shoes. Um, you know, running shoe YouTubers are great and all to like build your base and your knowledge about the different kinds of running shoes but it's important to go to a professional and see the kind of like what shoes would work best for your writing running gait and all that stuff kate is a kate works at a running shoe store and face people every day for shoes or all the time for shoes um so she has more to say about that you're kind of like where the hell do i start and it is overwhelming so go to your local running store, shop local, and you know, someone's gonna analyze your gait. Someone's gonna look at your foot. You're gonna stand on a disc. Right. What kind of arch you have? Do you have a narrow foot? Do you have a wide foot? Do your ankles roll in? Do you supinate? Do you have a neutral foot strike? Do you strike on your heel? Do you strike on your forefoot, your midfoot? There's so many things that affect the shoe. Anyway, I definitely think Everything Kate said is important, like what you were just saying off camera, like if you are running in a shoe that's not for running or you're running in a shoe that doesn't have any support and your feet hurt, like it's not going to work for you. You're not going to want to run. And like I understand they're expensive, you know, I get it. It is trial and error, but you really should put the money in because a proper running shoe is going to last you and you're not going to get hurt. Invest in yourself and invest in the sport. Number eight is one of my faves, and that's get involved with the running community. Um, whether it's in a virtual community, online, or, you know, like a, run, a local running group. I know it's hard in COVID times, but I can't tell you how important that is. Even our little group of me, Kate, and Ariana, like it's helped so much during like COVID and building each other up. It's just such a positive space and don't be afraid 
or embarrassed to join any community like that. I love our running group. Same. I mean, if you watch the 50K video or just like any video that only is posted of like us fooling around, like it means a lot. Like, yeah, I don't know, I could go into it for days, but <laughs> you know, you find your people and it really just makes it like honestly amazing. Yeah. And it's important, like if you don't have friends that are already friends who run, it's okay to branch out. I'll be your friend. Yeah, we'll be your friend, exactly. The running community is a welcoming place and in every sport you're gonna have those like elitist people. But for every elitist person, there's a hundred people who are more than happy to happy happy. Who are <laughs> who are rude, who are more than happy to welcome you and run with you, whether it's virtually or in person. Number nine is find your why. What does that mean, Kate? Oh my God. Why do you want to get up and do this? You know, why do you lace up your shoes and push yourself? I know why I do. Why do you? Running just makes me feel alive. I always want more of myself and it's always me against me which I love. I love a competition with myself. Yeah. Um, I just love how I feel when I'm running. And that's why I do it. I think that's a really great reason to get out and run. And I'd say like for me, it's a really good stress reliever. Totally. Definitely a good anxiety, like calmer. And when I don't run, I just feel a lot more anxious that day and just kind of like blah. Um, so, for me, that's why, and like Kate said, I love to compete with myself, and I just love the way I feel after a run. It's cliche, it's true, but though. we never regret a run. Ever. You might not want to go out that day, but you always feel better when you do. So definitely find your reason for getting out there. Number ten is the most important one. I know I said that a couple times, but this is my this is my favorite, and this is the most important, and it's have fun please have fun exactly this is not a job unless it is your job but <laughs> Must be nice. but for a beginner it's probably not your job it's not my job it ain't my job exactly and we're just doing this to have fun and better ourselves and if it's not fun focus or try to analyze that and figure out why it's not fun for you and think about how you can fix that right we all have our ebbs, our highs and our lows in the sport. There's times where I love it and there's times where it's not so fun, but it always comes back to me eventually. It always comes back. Exactly. Um, and also, if running's not fun for you, find something that is fun exactly. for you. Exactly. Find something active that's fun for you. I mean, if it's not running, I don't know how you found yourself here. <laughs> True. <laughs> but find something that you love to do <laughs> that's going to work for you, that's going to make you happy, because that's what it's all about, having fun. We wouldn't be out here if it wasn't fun. Exactly. This run felt terrible and I still had fun. We had we had great time. It was yeah. it was tough, but we had a great time. That concludes this video <laughs> of beginner tips. I think that's what I'll call it. We'll see beginner when tips. I sit down. Yeah. Beginner tips for tips for beginner runners. That's good. Okay, great. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you guys on Sunday. Who knows what it'll be, <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out. In the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Caller and K Della Runs. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, my next concert is coming up next week.